Okay, Lee Christie here, and I just recently learned how to use the SolidWorks API. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm also half decent now at working with SolidWorks equations. Um, so first I'll tell you how I built this part. Um, it's, it's top down design, so you start with a sketch. Uh, the sketch here, everything's contained in that sketch. Um, some of the things I didn't need to label, because um, I kind of know what they are. I mean, ideally you'd label everything in here, uh, but what I did really is I, I, I created this spur gear, or sorry, no, uh, this timing pulley um, by using equations. So you go into equations, and you can see here there's really like the number of teeth, the pitch, and this value called u, um, which is uh, the distance between the, the pitch diameter um, and, the, uh, and the end of the tooth uh, on the timing belt. And really, everything else kind of is is, um, is derived from those those values. So that's there's the equations. That's how they're set up. Um, and uh, so I really wanted to practice accessing these equations um, from from within uh, the SolidWorks API. So uh, oh yeah, so of course you extrude uh, you know thingamajigger, and then you uh, cut out a tooth and you create a circular pattern. So uh, the cool thing about the SOLIDWORKS API is you can go in and pretty much edit any of those things with, with a macro. And if you try to record macros, it's really bad because they're really hard to edit and it's usually just a lot of garbage. So I learned as best I could how to do things from scratch and I will show you that macro now. So uh, we'll go into uh, edit macros, we'll go to this one called pulley create. And so you have this main function. Um, and all it really has to have in it, it probably doesn't even have to have this line in it, but um, all it really has to have in it is, is this thing where you call up a form. So I, I, my form is specifically called pulleys form one, and you just have to show it. That's really all you have to do because all the real code is actually in here. So you create this form um, uh, by, you know, you add a uh, text field uh, input and a button. And in this case, the button itself is the, the object that, that contains the code. So if we go in there and you take a look, you can see uh, all, the, all the code that's being run when you click on that button. Uh, and in this case, this is a little bit of code here uh, that I got off of um, the SOLIDWORKS forums. Uh, but I understand how it works now. Basically, you split the thing that you want to get in this case is the, um, you want to go through all the equations, the list of equations, and crawl through them. Uh, and you index them with an incrementer. Uh, you go through a for loop. And you grab the the first the first equation there, which in this case is n, and you say you split it up into chunks, and you're basically looking for to see if it's if it is equal to n, uh, and so you trim whatever it may be. And you're really just looking, I guess, for the first element here by going element zero, um, and then okay, so if it's equal to n, then do this. And in, and in this case, um, oh, so the three. I'll explain the three exclamation, the three quotation marks. The three quotation marks. Um, it the SolidWorks takes this as, um, you know, double quote and double quote. That's how it takes the value. But if you want it to know that, you have to put, uh, you have to use double quotes around it. And in this case, it's a string, so you guys still have to have quotes around that again. So that's why you get the triple quotes from. Um, and in this case, um, teeth is the thing that you're entering, like the number of teeth that you want the, the, the uh, timing pulley to have. So you have to concatenate the string there and shove it into the, that, whatever that po position i of the equation is. Um, so this is how you change the value of n in the equations, essentially. Um, I've got a little debug statement in there, and I do a little rebuild. Uh, I, I actually can't remember if the rebuild is, should be here or in the main. Uh, probably here, I'm guessing. Um, this other stuff is just defining variables, and this is all pretty standard stuff. Uh, you have to create these um, SW apps, and you have to create an application. These are all object types, of course, and um, uh, you have to, you have to, I guess, instantiate them. Uh, well, at least that's the terminology we use in Java. So, um, yeah. So there you have it. That's what it is. And so I'm going to save it and exit it and. I'm going to run it. So in this case, I created a little button for it called pulley create. So you click on that, calls it up, and we're going to make one that is, say, 30 teeth. Create. And sure enough, there it is. It's got 30 teeth. And uh, that's all there is to it. So it's really that simple. Uh, to make these 
uh, macros from scratch is pretty straightforward. Uh, the help documentation isn't as, isn't as good as I'd like it to be, but the online forms are amazing. So uh, get into it. If you want to program APIs, uh, I say go for it. It's a lot of fun.